Hi everybody, welcome to our online part 2 program by Master Zhou Ching. The topic that I would like to uh, discuss with you today will be what you didn't know about the meanings behind 10 heavenly stems arrangement. First of all, allow me to introduce to you the 10 heavenly stems. All right? So in terms of pronunciation, this is Jia, Yi, Bing, Ding, Wu, Ji, Geng, Xin, Ren, Kui. And in terms of position, Jia is number one, followed by Yi, and so on and so forth, with Kui being last in position. And in terms of yin and yang, jia is yang, followed by yin, then yang, then yin, then yang, so on and so forth. In terms of five elements, jia is wood, yi is wood. So in terms of uh, symbols, people see jia like a tall tree, yi is actually like a plant. Bing is yang fire, it is like the sun. Whereas Ting is a yin fire, which is the candle light. Yang earth is being symbolized like a mountain or a big rock. Whereas yin earth is actually paddy field. Yang metal gun is like the metal ore. Or like a big sword. Whereas the yin metal scene is like the jewels. Yin water run is like a big sea and the yin water kui is like the so-called the raindrop or the dews. So let's put them together in terms of the yin and the yang okay as well as the element. So you can see that Jia Yi being the wood produce fire in terms of the five element production cycle and fire produce earth, earth produce metal and the metals produce water right and the water go back and produce the wood so you can actually see a sequence there okay so in terms of heavenly stamps arrangement, we can put one yin and one yang together. And they actually look like this. For example, if I put jia and qi as a pair, yi and geng as a pair, bing xing, ding ren, wu kui, they actually form this thing known as the heavenly stamps combination. Alright? Which there is actually a resultant element. Like for example, Jia and Qi will combine and there's an inclination to transform to the element Earth. Yi Geng will transform the metal. Bing Xin, water. Ding Ren, wood. Wu Kui is fire. So it is possible that one can have a heavenly stamps combination in their parts of chart. For example, like this. Say for example, you belong to the Jia Dei Master and you see that there's another Jia Earth next to you. Or you can actually have a set of heavenly stamps combination just in your chart like this, between the year and the month pillar. Or like this. Sometimes one has this special situation. For example, you belong to the Jia Dei Master and you actually have two Ji Earth side by side next to you. Or sometimes it can be like this, in this way. All right? So this is actually known as a jealousy combination. In Chinese, we call it the Du He, Du Ji De Du. And usually can easily lead to third party in a relationship. 
okay, based on some of the charts that I've read, alright? All divorce, if it is actually Wu Day Master as below, like for example, you belong to the Wu Day Day Master, alright, then you have a Kui here and there's a Wu here. There's a saying in the classic, it says that Liang Wu He Yi Kui Ei Zai Jia. So in English, it means that if you have two Wu Er trying to combine one Kui, chances are this person will have to remarry. Okay? And also, there's also a difference between if you are Wu Day Master trying to combine with a Kui water, or you are a Kui water trying to combine with Wu. All right, so there's a there's a bit of a difference in terms of the person's personality. Okay, so I will leave this discussion in class. All right, so I hope you have learned something today. Okay, in terms of the heavenly steps arrangement, you can actually go to our website under the tag Feng Shui tools to plot your own path to chart. The usage is free, but you need to sign up as a member to use it. If you are interested in our Pazi Semi Pro or Pazi Master Practitioner or even Pazi Ladies Life program, do email us at academy at destinyasia.com.sg. Alright? So I hope that you have actually um, benefit from today's uh, course. Thank you very much for watching.